left here is a multi-use mobile OA work platform that is also a material handler. So you can see, whereas this would normally have a platform on the end that's able to raise to 60 to 80 feet, in this case it's converted to a telehandler type of solution in order to be able to lift a couple thousand pounds and you can see a pallet of bricks here. Right? What we're demonstrating here is multi-versatility. Being able to expand the bounds of what a machine is able to do in isolation of a particular job specific tool. Now it's multi-use. It's also fully electric. Everything about this is electrified, including the later actuators, lithium ion batteries contained inside in order to be able to get regenerative energy and whatnot. Now within the EV space or electric vehicle space, the challenges that people have is a range of anxiety, the inability to complete the drive. Well, in the job site world, it's not so much the inability to complete the, the drive as much as it is to complete the job they're paid to do. They have a schedule and they got to deliver. Right? So what do we do in order to address that in terms of the infrastructure on the job site? To our right here is the AMR, which stands for Autonomous Mobile Robot. On the AMR, it consists of a storage battery, in this case the smaller battery. This is a simulation uh, and it's a fully autonomous robot in order to be able to move that energy across the acres of land, around people, around materials, across steep grades, in order to be able to come to here the Galileo in order to charge it. So in order to make this connected infrastructure work, these two need to be able to see each other and communicate with one another. So using Clear Sky Smart Fleet, our proprietary two-way Internet of Things or IoT solution, we created the ability for these two machines to see one another. So we have a feature called Automated Site Network. So what this does is it actually creates a Bluetooth mesh network. In doing that, the machines that are visible to one another can actually create their own network together and are actively communicated in harmony and orchestra. So if you look at these screens, you're going to see a occurrence through the Clear Sky Smart Fleet. You'll see both of the machines on here. The way that the Galileo would communicate with the AMR is via that type of portal. Now it can be summoned by an individual that is a worker, or it can be summoned automatically due to a threshold of energy within the Galileo. The AMR now, if I press the uh, sequence, is going to go through and now move itself from its current location position itself in order to line up to the, the Galileo and then charge. You'll see here on the body lighting, it just went from green to yellow to red. The horse that does to simulate uh, this Galileo, this particular piece of equipment, needs to be charged. The AMR is now being summoned through each of these beacons, and this is clear sky smart these beacons that are connected to one another. Uh, the AMR is now moving in position. So see the colors on the AMR, currently green. They're going to also move the yellow to red as the energy transfers from the AMR wirelessly to Galileo.